Hi, my name is Yubi Hecht. I play Ehrlich in the show Pretty Frickin' Scary, and this is Young Entertainment Mag. I'm Daniela with Young Entertainment Mag. Thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna jump right in. How did you get into acting? Where did it all start? Okay, so funny story. I mean, usually all these people say that they've always wanted to be actors, but the funny thing is acting was actually never really something that I ever thought about doing. Wow. Um, yeah, but I was in the car one day and we were listening to the radio and there was this advertisement that came up and it was like, it was something about like come, coming to audition for this like short film with like former Nickelodeon and, and Disney actors. And I was like, wow, that sounds pretty interesting. You know, might not give it, a, might as well give it a shot. So I auditioned, they ended up really wanting me. And so me and my sister went to Hollywood for like 10 days. We filmed the short film with these actors and there was like a red carpet event, like a movie premiere. So I really got to like kind of grasp the industry and I kind of fell in love with it. So I just kept the ball rolling, take a bunch of classes, auditioning. And yeah. Okay. That's amazing. When you were driving down the road and you heard this on the radio, where, where were you living at that point? What so state? I was living in Indiana. I just, mm -hmm. Yeah, I just moved here to California. I literally got here yesterday. We drove a U-Haul all the way from Indiana to California. It was like three days. It was such a long trip, but it was it was worth it for sure. The views were amazing. Okay, wait, you just moved to LA yesterday. Yeah, I literally just got here yesterday. Oh my gosh. Okay, wait, and this whole radio thing that's happened, when was that? The um that was about five years ago. Five years ago. Like a couple months after I moved to Indiana. I was in like fifth grade. No way. Okay. So that is so rare. Like I feel like back in the day, like I was a nineties kid and the whole like Disney channel and like Nickelodeon and getting discovered where they have mm -hmm. these casting calls was like a huge thing, but that doesn't really happen anymore. So that's so cool that that got to be your experience. That's one in a million. No, um, it's crazy. Wow. Okay. I love that. That is so fun. <laughs> so then how did pretty freaking scary come into your life? So my awesome manager, Joe Montefiore, he's here in LA and I've been him. I've been with him for like three years already and he gets me these massive auditions. And so I did auditions for probably like two years, maybe during COVID I was just grinding yeah. auditions all the time. And I got this audition for pretty freaking scary. And I was like, oh my God, I, I have to get this. Um, so I auditioned for two roles, actually. I ended up getting a call back for the first role, um, which was Dio. Um, but they thought I was a better fit for Ehrlich. So I auditioned for Ehrlich, I got a call back. And then there's that, I got, I got Ehrlich, so yeah. Okay, I love this. This is, you know what I love about your story so far is it's so like effortless. It's normally like so hard to break into the industry and stuff. So yeah. it's so fun that it just sounds like it was the biggest blessing and obviously something that you found that you just love to do. So that's so yeah. cool. So you described a little bit of the audition process for mm -hmm. Pretty Freaking Scary. What other details? So like, was it, were you nervous at all? Was, um, did you have a bunch of chemistry reads? Like what, what, get into the nitty gritty of what the audition process is like. Okay, so auditioning for me, usually I'm not as nervous because it's self tapes and I can just do as many as I want and then send them in and get the best take. Yeah. Um, but then I got a call back and this was the first time I got a call back in a while too and I'm doing it live on Zoom in front of these My like, God big Disney people. So I was super nervous. Um, but I, I did my best and uh, I made it happen. I love it. Um, okay. So, okay. This is also interesting because usually like nobody's story is like this where it just kind of like happens. So when you were doing the callbacks, those were on zoom too. So none of the audition process was in person. Is that right? No, uh, this was during COVID too. So okay, everything was during COVID. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. So then when was the first time that you like met the cast? Was it at the table read? 
it was uh i yeah we had like a week before the actual uh, before we started filming where i could just like get to know like the cast and the crew so we got okay. to connect really quickly and i got like good chemistry with them i love it um and then how how are you so you just moved here yesterday how are you liking la it's so different than indiana oh my god the weather is like it's actually like insane yeah. like in indiana usually during the winter like it snows like it snows in april sometimes in indiana yeah wow. um and in the summer it's super hot um and la is just a completely different world like it's totally. crazy yeah and so you mentioned when you had this like casting call five years ago from the radio mm -hmm. that your sister and you went out to hollywood for like 10 days so does she do acting as well so after that she kind of stopped um but she's very excited to move to la because she wants to start acting too so yes. um i work with uh with an acting coach that has like a really good class for kids so she's gonna get started re very very soon i love it okay any chance do you go to cynthia bain cynthia bain is that the the class yeah yeah mm -mm. No, okay. She, um, I know Cynthia Bain pretty well, but she does a bunch of coaching for kids and she works with a bunch of Nickelodeon Disney. So I was just wondering if it happened. To uh, me. You know, Marnie Cooper. Oh yeah. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. That's, that's great. Uh, and then yeah. Alice Carter. I, I'm not familiar with Alice, but amazing. Yeah. yeah. But I love it. Cool. Okay. So how does Ehrlich fit into pretty freaking scary? So in the first couple episodes, they don't show too much of his character okay. and he kind of develops as the season goes on um i don't want to like spoil too much i i guess you're just gonna have to watch and find out but okay. the more the season goes on the more he develops and he, yeah yeah okay cool i love it um what if you could describe your character in uh -huh. three words what would those three words be i want to say friendly because that's like such a like generic word no that's a good it gives a good like picture of who eric okay. is a great word okay. i'll give friendly real and trustworthy i love it all sounds the good traits is for a good friend yeah. yeah i'll say that sounds like the perfect friend um is there anything okay so obviously you've had this this kind of crazy start to your career and now you're here you're in la you're on this big show. It's so exciting. So is there anything about the experience that you wish you would have known like before you got started? Um, honestly, I really, really didn't expect to become so close to the cast. Like, oh yeah. A lot of people told me that um they've been on like other sets and and other productions where the cast doesn't always get along too well. Not that like they're not friends, but they don't like hang out all the time but yeah like the cast of pretty freaking scary are so close to each other we always go out we hang out we go to like dinners we've done like escape rooms oh, so it's i really just made so many friends just off this one show which is very yeah. nice that's so special what has been your favorite part about playing Ehrlich? i think being able to actually connect to Ehrlich because when you're when you're playing a character you really want to find something that you and the character have in common so you can really kind of bring it to life and i feel like with Ehrlich, i got very lucky because i think that me and Ehrlich are very similar in many ways i love it what do you do to memorize your lines is there something specific that you do i know like a lot of people will they say like they exercise while they're reading their scripts because apparently that helps you memorize lines quicker or just do you have any tips and tricks for that um usually what i do is i'll take one specific line and depending on how many like sentences it is i'll get one sentence get that sentence down and then add another one on and then keep going you know um but there i feel like for me i wasn't spending too much time trying to memorize my lines because well okay so an episode took a week and monday tuesday wednesday would be all rehearsals and oh, then wow. Thursday, Friday was shooting day. So I, we would literally get three days of just rehearsals. And I think that's, it really helped me to memorize my lines. So in rehearsals, do you have your sides with you? Do you have your script? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you're not expected to be off book. You have it with you. Yeah. It makes it, it makes it very easy to memorize there. Yeah. 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 
And then you guys are going over like blocking and everything too in rehearsals, yeah, right? Exactly. So not only do we memorize the line, but the scene as well and where we're supposed to be and all that. Is that challenging or does it kind of all just like come together as one? And so it kind of just feels natural. Like what does that feel learning blocking and 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 your sides all at the same time? So on the first day, it's it's not always easy and you have yeah. to like memorize all of these stuff and like where you have to be and everything. But I think as the days go on, it kind of just becomes natural and you kind of know like, oh, I'm going to be here now. Oh, I'm going to be here. I'm going to say this now. So cool. it, it becomes easier. Yeah. I love it. That's so exciting. Um, and a lot of times too, when we, we talk to actors, they don't really get into the rehearsal side of things because a lot of times shows too, they don't have three days of rehearsals yeah. for one episode. That's like kind of a unique way of shooting. So that's, that's such a different process, but I bet it's so fun. And then it's by the time it's film day, you probably feel so good, confident and relaxed. Cause you're like, we just did this, which yeah. is really fun. I love that. Yeah. It makes, it makes our job a lot easier. So yeah. it's nice. Totally. So my producer, Mordecai, mm -hmm. he is friends with Lauren Elder, who says hi, by the way. So, oh my God, I love Lauren. Right? So what was it like working with a Broadway star as your voice coach? What are some things that you learned about your voice that you didn't know before? Okay, well, personally, my voice is not the best. Uh, <laughs> but here's a funny story. Every... Thursday, I think it was, we had like karaoke during lunch and Lauren would always be up there and she would always be singing her heart out. It was so fun. It was so good to watch. That is so fun. Okay. So this was just like, this was just lunch break on Thursdays. Like that was your regular thing. Exactly. Karaoke day. Yeah. <laughs> Who started that? Um, honestly, I don't know. I don't know who it was, but props to them. It was a very good idea. That's so fun. And was it just, was it just like any, you could choose any song ever? It didn't have to be like a certain, oh my gosh. Anyone, I, any song. Yeah, it was very nice. So there have been so many phenomenal directors working on this show. One in particular is Boy Meets World star Danielle. Oh my gosh. She is like such an icon, especially mm -hmm. for someone like me in my generation. So what was that experience like? And what did you learn from her? Okay, so Danielle was so cool and she was so like, oh, I, I don't know how to explain. It. Okay, she was very cool. She made our job very easy. She was an amazing director. And I think with her, um, what's the word I'm looking for? With her experiences on other sets, she can kind of like see, like she knows exactly what she wants. Yeah. Um, And she's very precise and yeah, it's just, she's great. She really is great. That's so fun. That's yeah. kind of like, that's once in a lifetime right there. I mean, it won't be for you. You'll go on to do so many cool things, but that is just iconic. How fun. I know. Um, do you have a favorite Disney Channel show or DCOM Disney Channel original movie? I definitely, okay. Growing up, I actually didn't really watch Disney Channel too much. I was, uh, I was more into Cartoon Network. So I was watching all the cartoons, but my favorite Disney movie, I think it's gotta be Coco. Coco. Gotta be cool. Coco. Yeah. I have yeah. never heard anybody say that. That's so fun. Such a good movie. I love it. How cool. Oh, you've watched it, right? I, I haven't actually, I think, okay. So <sighs> I'm a 1990s Disney Channel baby. So I've got like all the the DCOMs back in the day. Like, do, I don't even know, do they do they have DCOMs now? Disney Channel original movies? I don't know if they still call them that or if they just call them Disney movies. But we had like um, Smart House, Double Team, Look of the Irish, um, Wish Upon a Star, like all of these. And if you watch them now, I think I have all of them on VHS, but they look they look like they're from the 90s, but t it was totally different like era than what they have now. All right, here's my assignment for you. You gotta watch Coco and I'll watch one of those movies. Which one do you want me to watch? Ooh, okay. Oh my God. Um, you're gonna laugh when you watch it though. Cause you're gonna all be right. like, what is this? Double teamed. <laughs> Double teamed, okay. Double teamed, it's um about two twin sisters because back in the day disney channel movies always had like 
Oh, wait. Oh, there's another good one, too. Um, wait, let me Google it really quick, because if I am right on this, you have to watch this one. This is like. Um, there was always twins in these movies. Mm -hmm. I see. And they would always like switch places and stuff. <laughs> that was the big thing. Kind of like Parent Trap. Oh, there's um, so many to pick from. It's hard. So many. Okay. So there, this, I'm changing my, my pick. Okay. There's okay. a movie called Model Behavior. Model and Behavior. Model Behavior. And let's see. Yeah, it, was, it wasn't a decom, but it was a Disney movie. It came out on ABC. That is like my favorite Disney movie of all time. I, okay. So I don't know where you'll find it. I'll, but... I'll look it up. I'll okay. find it. I'll watch Coco. Sounds All like right, Coco, you gotta watch it. I, I promise, promise you it's so good. Okay, I will. I promise. That is okay. so fun. Um, okay, let me see. We got through, We I asked you that. I just got so sidetracked with these decons. <laughs> um, Easy to get sidetracked with Disney. <laughs> totally. Um, okay, so what has been the most challenging part of working on Pretty Freaking Scary and how did you overcome it? Tough question. For me personally, when the director gives you a note and you have to adjust to it yeah especially because we've been like working for a whole week and, and we've worked on one specific like way to to act the scene out and then yeah. when the director gives you this note that completely changes it it, it it's it's kind of hard to adjust to but I always got these notes, so it was easier and easier every single time I got them. So I, I, I adjusted it, I adjusted to it um, by the end, but I think that was the hardest part for me. Yeah, that would be challenging. So are those are those notes mostly in rehearsal and then day of there are no more notes or do you still get notes on day of filming? I mean, mo most of them are during rehearsal, but okay. some are uh, day of filming too. Yeah. Man, and that's that's hard, but it's so good for your like acting muscle. Yeah. I'm sure yeah. by the end you were yeah. like, okay, this is yeah. easy. Um, that's so great, uh, and it's probably pretty fun too to like change stuff up because then you've kind of got the pressure on you when it's filming day. You're yeah. like, we have to do this. Yeah, but I think that's when I show off the most when I got all the pressure on me. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh my gosh, so fun. Okay, so are you familiar with what a G R W M is a get ready with ready me. with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. So we want to know what is your G R W M routine before shooting a scene. I don't know. Usually, what I'll do is um, I'll usually have some fun with my castmates, and you know, tell some jokes just so we lighten up the mood and we get loose. Yeah. Uh, so it just makes the scene easier and more fun. Yeah. Which uh, I think is is good for the acting. Totally. So just kind of get all the nerves out, whatever, exactly, yeah. get everybody on a level, on a vibe. We had like this secret handshake that we would always do before scene two. So, yeah. <laughs> That's so fun. Okay. Do, are we ever going to get to see this secret handshake? Has it been posted anywhere? <laughs> yeah, I have videos of it. They haven't been posted, but I, I, I will for sure at some point post something. I love it. That's so fun. Um, and then what would Ehrlich's get ready with me routine be like as, as his character? What does that look like? That's a good question. You have good questions. I like these. <laughs> um, God, you stumped me with this. I don't even know. What would I mean, like, he wakes up. What does he do? Is he... He's a very serious guy. I don't know. Okay. Um, is he drinking coffee or like orange juice or like a soda? No, no, no. Ehrlich would definitely be drinking tea. Tea. Definitely tea. Um, he probably have his very formal breakfast. Oh. His butler would serve him formal breakfast and uh, go to school with like a nice outfit ace all of his classes i think that's that's early that's early that. yeah. does he have like a hair or skincare routine at all well, his hair his hair takes up most of the day <laughs> uh what's funny is that during the actual hair and makeup everyone else's hair took like 10 15 minutes and my hairdresser and i were stuck 30 minutes every single thursday friday doing my hair no way 
yeah 30 minutes just for my hair i have a time lapse video posted on my instagram so you can go check that out it takes a long time that is so funny and you're probably not used to that like spending 30 minutes on your hair every day you're like i have, I have completely curly hair and they have to straighten it and put all this product in it's like it's a glue like it's terrible and i hate it too um but yeah yeah i usually don't put anything in my hair because i like it loose yeah so it's very different so different um, that's such a fun memory. Do you have a favorite memory from being on set or a favorite like behind the scenes moment? I, oh, I think my favorite memory has to be wrapping the season because for me, it was such a big accomplishment and I was so proud of myself and I was so ready for this to be out for the world to see. Yeah. So I think that has to be my favorite memory. That's pretty special. That's really yeah. special. And is your sister, because it sounds like she's too, probably like your biggest fan. Is she yeah. just like so pumped on all this? Yeah, she's so excited for me. She was just in camp for like a month, a month and a half. So she she couldn't actually watch it. Um, so she got, she, she woke up this morning. She went to the TV. She watched all seven episodes on Disney Plus. Um, yeah, she binged it. She's, she's, my, she's a very big fan of me. Oh, that is the sweetest thing ever. All seven episodes at once. Oh my God. Oh, yeah. So sweet. Okay. So these last couple questions, we're just going to do rapid fire. So just whatever comes to mind sounds good. Um, and we'll, these will probably be for TikTok mostly, but okay, here we go. What is your favorite snack from crafty? Ooh. Yogurt parfait. Ooh, that's a fancy crafty. Yep, that's, yep. Oh, our crafty's good. Did you, okay, I do have to ask, in your, did you guys shoot in like a sound stage? Like um, a big studio, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so um, one time I worked in a sound stage that had like a Starbucks built inside the sound stage and it was just like free Starbucks. Did you guys have anything like that? Okay, well, we didn't have something like that, but we'd have like, um, sometimes, sometimes on shooting days, we'd have like an acai bowl or an acai truck. So we'd get an acai bowl and we had boba trucks. So we'd be drinking boba all day long. Yeah. Oh my God. That is so fun. That's the life right there. Okay. Actually. Three, <laughs> three emojis that best describe your character. Money sign. Ah, uh, the, uh, the emoji with the hard eyes. Yeah. And the hugging emoji. Oh, that's yeah. nice. That's sweet. That was like, so. each emoji is so different. I love that. Yeah, I know. Okay, what would Ehrlich's favorite song be to like sing along to in the car? What's his go-to? Oh, uh, what's the song? Uh, it's a Frank Sinatra song, something with moon. What is it? Fly me to yes, the moon. Yes, fly me to the moon. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> something like that. Okay, and then I already have a feeling what this will be because you kind of hinted at it earlier, but what would Ehrlich's go-to Starbucks order be? Oh, it's gotta be a hot chai. Oh, hot, hot chai. chai. Yeah. I love it. Um, okay. And then what was one show that you loved so much growing up that you're like, I want to be on that show when I grow up? Ooh, I say bunked. Oh. I think bunked. Yeah. I've auditioned for bunked a couple times. Um, I think getting before the, before the show ends, cause I think they're very close to to ending the show. So getting on bunk before it ends would be awesome. Wow. Okay. So we're just going to put that out there. That's going to be your thing. <laughs> Love that. And do you have like a dream board or anything that you like make that you like stick little things on, or do you just kind of go for it? Like your dream boards in your heart. <laughs> my dream boards in my heart. It's dream boards in my heart. Yeah. I love it. You know, um, I think that's kind of cool too. Cause I think sometimes with dream boards, it's like, you can have these crazy expectations and like, I would need to do this and this, but at the end of the day, it's like, you can't control like what you end up getting or, or not getting, you know, or booking or not booking. So I think that that's kind of a, my preferred way to do it. It's like, you have these dreams and then we just go for it. Exactly. Yeah. It happens. Amazing. Okay. That was my last question. So any, any last like tidbit you want to share or any, anything last note about the show? You have to watch the end of the season. You have to, it is so good. It'll, it'll leave you on your toes for sure. You just have to watch it. Ooh. That's, that's all I gotta say. That's all I gotta say. I'm convinced. I am totally convinced. Okay, great. 
Thank you so much for a great interview. We're so excited for you. I love your story. I think it's like the funnest thing ever. So congratulations on all your success. You deserve it. And um, it's just been so much fun chatting with you. So thanks again. Thank you. This has been very, very fun. Yes. Have a great day. And I'm sure we'll chat again. For sure. See you soon. Bye. This has been UB Heck. Thank you so much. And don't forget to subscribe to Young Entertainment Mag. Thank you.